Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my name is Steve Hudgens. I'm senior field investigator for New Farm and uh, we're the Texas chapter. And uh, we're down here to investigate this extraordinary event. Uh, first thing I want to do is uh, I want to thank Angela Joyner. She's uh, basically working with us on the, the investigation process down here. She's keeping us informed. We're keeping her informed. And I want to thank uh, Jeff Pendleton with, with the Dublin for allowing us to come in here. And for the Dutch River and uh, the Dallas Rotary Club President Amy McDonald, Rotary member Steve Hightower, and Rotary member Pat Leatherwood. They all uh, helped us get in here. The first. Uh, Hear that was my telephone. Yeah, she gave me a second. But um, I've seen a field investigator, I said, and uh, uh, we have uh, our state director, move on, Tim Cherry. Director of Research, Robert Powell. <coughs> section director from Waco, Dave Hill. Austin section director, Michael DeGraw. Uh, field investigator, Terry DeGraw. He's also our webmaster on our website. Uh, field investigator, Paula, and I can't pronounce her last name. Sure. Uh, we have, uh, of course, move on to grassroots effort. It's been in existence uh, since 1969, and uh, we're a worldwide organization. We have about 2,500 members, 800 of which are field investigators, and uh, 100 uh, are assorted PhDs for consultants and uh, anyone can join I have membership applications over here and uh, uh, I want to talk for a second here about uh, what does UFO mean it means unidentified flying object it doesn't mean spaceship from outer space it doesn't mean that. anybody watch the anybody watch play King last night yeah. The only person on there that mentioned UFOs was the man that was debunking the entire thing. <laughs> but the, uh, we normally get, oh, 100 sightings uh, a year here in Texas. Uh, the last three days I've had uh, uh, at least 100 reports come in. So it's, uh, it's uh, basically about to shut down our, our uh, reporting system. Uh, what we're going to do here today is interview the witnesses, and, and I can't tell who the witnesses are, but I can see a show of hands who the witnesses are. Okay, I still can't tell. The camera's in the way here. I can't tell who's doing what. But uh, I want the witnesses to uh, come up. Now, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's just have all the witnesses go in this room right over here. And that way we can kind of see who they are. I'll, I'll ask the investigators to go in there with us right now and you guys kind of get a count. Okay, what, uh, what we're going to do is... We're going to do a one-on-one uh, -on -one investigation depending on how many are in here. Oh yes, this is witnesses only, the media is not allowed in the room. Uh, yes, our curiosity seekers. It's witnesses and field investigators only. I'm sorry. I notice we have a few people in here with aluminum foil on their head. I assure you there are no alien rays in here today. Oh. This uh, 
the form you're filling out is uh, basically a prepaid general information form. And uh, what we're looking for is the uh, size of the object, uh, the direction of travel, the And then we'll, we'll collect that information and uh, try to make a determination after that. If anybody has any questions, anything like that, I can take that. No questions? Good. Okay. Steve, what, what has the object been described as so far? There's uh, so many witness descriptions coming in, but the basic description is uh, one mile wide, half a mile thick, and stationary with no sound, and then moving off in an incredible rate of speed. Uh, was it a series of lights or a metallic object? There was a definite series of lights. Uh, one witness reports, reported a uh, smooth skin, no seams, no bolts, you know, things of that nature. Coloration of it? I don't think I remember hearing anything about coloration. If they want to. Uh, let's do that after we've interviewed them. Because uh, basically we're not used to a setting like this. This is not the type of setting we want. Because when the witnesses talk to each other, it contaminates exactly what they see. Is there anything detected by radar? I don't know that yet. We're checking on that. We, uh, we have a gentleman that has applied for uh, a few uh, freedom of information, and uh, we don't know anything about that. With your experience in investigating alleged sightings, what do you expect for your rate of time that it will take for you to fully investigate? With the number of uh, uh, reports, it's going to take at least a year, because we have to follow up. and. Actually, the more reports that come in, the more reports come in after that. This, this is an amazing cycle. This, this, is, this is unheard of. Historically, Steve... <coughs> okay, uh, Ken Cherry, our state director, would like to speak to you.